Well, Chris Pilling is back with us and he brought some gifts from the north. That is one sling. More than that, but 30,000 pounds. Yeah, 30,000 vertical. So they rate these things with a vertical lift. That means just if you just had a straight strap from the load up to the crane at uh, 15 tons, 30,000 pounds. Twice that, 30 tons or 60,000 pounds if it goes underneath the load, which is what we're doing on the boat and we're doing it twice. So that gives us 120,000 pounds or 60 tons. And we weighed the boat, we're adding stuff to it, but we're still gonna be under 60 tons. I wonder if my sewing machine could do that. No. I think it could. I don't think so, you should see their sewing machine. Yeah, it is a big one, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think I could go through all that right there. No. That's yeah. not even the thickest part. Right here's the thickest part. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. Only, it took the guy three hours a piece to sew these straps. Cool. And they're 50 foot long machine where they're going. So the guys at Watco Industries have already come out. And what we're going to do is one strap starts at the top of the pilot house there, goes all the way down underneath the boat and up the other side. That's called a basket. And they have a spreader bar, big steel beam that goes across from one side of the boat to the other that picks up the two ends of that strap. We do it again up here in the front. Right there where we can come down in front of the keel. And that's how we're going to lift her. Watco Industries routinely lifts heavy stuff, but they mainly do coils of steel and that sort of thing. They don't launch boats very often, so we got our own straps. And we're going to fix up this old compressor to travel down the road because Chris is taking that thing back with him. Got a fancy barrel lift. Spring loaded. Oh, okay. So it springs it into place and then tightens up as the chain lifts. Yeah. Cool. Check out this. Tired of tying down your toolbox? Make a little custom bracket. Just latches on the side. Boom. Cool. Okay, this is something else Chris brought down. Complete with snow from Minnesota. That's like uh, number six, sixty. Yeah, I gotta make another sprocket for the deal up there, but that'd be great. And the reduction box. Fifty-two to one. That'll be fantastic. Eighteen hundred or seventeen hundred RPM in. Yeah, so a standard motor. The output motor. is uh, thirty-four point one RPM. All right. This is the non-hydraulic solution for lifting the uh, tender at the back of the boat. And I like it. Oh, switches. 12 volt carling style. Do they have little LED lights in those? They oh, light that's so millennial, that's so cool. And the barrel down here contains 55 gallons of concentrated extended life antifreeze at a bargain of a deal. We are much obliged to Thermopro. Doing a little side job. For this gentleman over here, you might recognize him. He's, he's, he's normally sitting at a desk at Single Source Industrial Coatings here in Tulsa. He's my paint guy. Yeah, well, you're doing good. Any kind of bar barbecue rub, chicken, turkey, beef, poultry, vegetable. Check it out. You need a rub? <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just love this card. Rub-yourmeat.com. Blake, he's the guy. <laughs> I didn't even notice that before. Look what the pig's dreaming about. That is cute. Seriously, the cool part is this is his second job, all right? He, and he builds the machinery to, to uh, manufacture all this stuff. And that's what this part's going into. Glad we could help you out. Thank you, Doug. Got some gloves? No. I'm just gonna man up to it, huh? Just need secure now. Pipe going that way, already made. Okay, got a new tool for bending pipe. Actually, Tyler Lay gave me this, and I tried it and didn't know how to use it properly. Chris knows how to use the thing properly. Let it preheat about 15 minutes, and then the pipe only needs to be in it 15 seconds. Oh, yeah. yeah it's just like a wet noodle. Closer to here or closer to over there? Uh, closer over here. Closer to there? Well, I don't care. The plug right here. Just move the plug over. Well, don't put the tape where I gotta put the box. All right, right in there. A little closer. Yeah. I'll move it just fine. Okay. So I'll there. put the clamp back in. End of the day, all the piping is in. Beautiful winter morning. These are going to Mexico. Chris and I are going to Bartlesville to look at some winches. 
Uh, hey, 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 you know, hoist. We found a whole warehouse full of stuff that's coming out of, oh, one of the industrial shops up in Dewey, Oklahoma. So Chris is just in pig heaven here. $22.50. 50 cents a pound for most of it. This will work for my dump trailer. So yeah, some fire extinguishers, five dollars a piece. Some assorted stainless and plastic and hoses and lots of fittings and knickknacks. This is one of the perks of being in a state that has a lot of fab shops in it. What's the pressure rating on these? They're on the quarter inch pipe, but there's the sandblasting booth and a lot of equipment I could have used. $449 worth of stuff. That includes the two hoists, both working, only $75 a piece. Bargain for me. That's four conductors, small stuff, like 22 gauge. Cat 5? Cat 5 would work. Oh, I would be some Cat 5. I'm gonna gray first. Gray first. Okay, now pull on both the red and the gray. That's not going through. You need fish tape. Okay, I get it. Really? Specifically designed for it. Really? Okay. Well, that is nice. off a few strands that's what we're gonna keep we're gonna bend that over and we're gonna leave what we're cutting off straight cut that off be nice to the apprentice that's got to pick it up later See, that's why you did all that work. It keeps this part really small. Oh, it's pretty. We have the and the... Where's the labeling? It's all red tape. Oh, the wires it's are labeled. Wire. Oh, yeah, cool. I can do that. Oh, wait a minute. Now try. Here we go. You feeling it? Yeah. I think we felt these pipes kind of tight. It'll be fine. Put some slip on them there. Yeah, he didn't like Slittle. I don't know. Nah, he's not a little guy. Well, he's an old school guy. He didn't have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't know what to do if it come up. <laughs> and so, she looked hey, at you know, me. I got a video camera running here, right? Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to end this car.